So the question has been asked uh, in light of the fact that the Bible is the most influential book uh, in the world, especially for Christians. What other books have been influential in my life? And I could go on and on with hundreds, if not thousands of books that I've read in my lifetime. But when I just thought about it and jotted it down, I would have to say, other than the Bible, the single most influential book that comes to the top of my mind is You've Already Got It by Andrew Womack. And uh, it's a powerful book. You can get that at awmi.net. The reason this is so influential is I spent about 20 years of my life trying to get more of God into me. And it was frustrating. I was trying to get more love, more power, more anointing, and more all of that into my spirit. And I found out through clear explanation of the, exposition of the word that I'm already full of God, full of the anointing. And uh, it gave John 7, 37 through 39. Jesus said, out of your belly will flow rivers of living water. It changed everything in my life. It's changed the number of miracles I've seen. It's changed the gifts of the spirit flowing out of me. The, the, the sermons I preach come out of that place of perfection and fullness. Uh, so that'd be first. The second, I would have to say I read it back in 1980. Uh, and it's by Kenneth E. Hagan called Man on Three Dimensions. And that's when I first discovered that we are a three-part being, not a two-part being. Up until that time in my public education, all I knew was that I was a mind and a body. But when I got a hold of that book as a college student, still doing drugs and alcohol, and I got a hold of that, I found out that we have three parts. We're made up of three parts, spirit, soul, and body, instantly changed my life. And then right after that, by the same author, Kenneth E. Hagen, I read the book Redeemed. And I found out that I was redeemed from Satan, from poverty, and from sickness. Man, that turned me around. I thought God wanted me broke. I thought God wanted me sick. I thought he used sickness to teach things. I thought that he wanted me to be broke, to keep me humble. And when I found that out, that these things belonged to me, man, I got after it. I wanted to know what else belonged to me. Um, the Authority of the Believer, uh, written by several men. There are several good ministers that writ have written on the authority. Kenneth Hagin wrote on it. Uh, Andrew Womack has written on it. There's several good books out there. I found out that many things that are happening in my life are not the will of God. I'm in charge, and I can command things to stop. I can command things to, to not stop. I have authority, and I don't have to keep pleading and begging with God to fix it. Also, when I was in college, I had a tremendous experience of a demoniac that Satan, this demon himself, spoke through this person and threatened to kill me. It was, it was like the exorcist. I mean, but it was not a movie. It really happened. And I saw my friend cast that demon out of that person with his authority. And from that point on, man, I wanted to know my authority. And then uh, the last three uh, is by Joseph Prince, Destined to Reign. I'm not saying I agree with everything in that book. But I'm telling you, 99% of it just changed my life and made me realize how powerful the goodness and grace of God was. And then uh, last of all, The Gospel of Peace by Dr. James B. Richards. It just gave me an understanding of the gospel that I did not know and how we have peace with God and he is at peace with us. So those would be some of the books out of thousands that I've read that I would say are on the top of my list. Mm -hmm.